I have been looking a while for an antenna analyzer, which is easier to carry around than the Nano VNA when doing portable operations. And uh, today I came across this one. It's the FAVA4, and that's short for Funk Amateur Vector Analyzer version number four. And Funk Amateur is the German uh, ham radio magazine. And this is originally released as a kit. I did not get it as a kit though, and there are several videos online on how to make it as a kit. But I'm just going to do a little bit of a short walkthrough through the menus and see how it works today. So uh, please join me as we take a dive into the FAVA4. And before we get going, the uh, FAVA4 is not the current model. The version 5 is the current model. And you can get that over at box73.de. And the current price for the version 5 is 199 euros as a kit or 229 euros where it's 99% done as it says on the website. I don't know which 1% is not done, but uh, yeah. Uh, at least it's 99% done. Nonetheless, we're going to go back to the version 4. And uh, I don't really know what the differences are between the version 4 and the 5, but I assume that they're not big enough for me to want to or need to upgrade for a while. But let's turn this on and see what the menus look like. And when you turn it on, you can see the menu here. Uh, first of all, we're just going to go into the main menu and make it a little bit easier. And there are only three buttons, so it takes a little bit to get used to this. But we're going to go down to the settings menu here and uh, turn the backlight permanently on. then it's easier to see for you. So when you start it up, you have this one frequency display, but this thing can do more though. Right at the moment, uh, you can use the plus and minus buttons to go up and down in frequency to measure it. But this little thing can do more, I think. So let's go into the menus and see here what the menus say. And for the menu, you long press the left button here. And let's see what we got here. Uh, we got let's go down we got sol one frequency so that's calibrating the analyzer for one frequency uh, you have swr measurements on one frequency z measurements on one frequency swr single sweep i think that's relevant for a lot of us that that's the mode we saw where it just shows the frequency we have the z value a single sweep we have a five band swr measurement we have a SWR cycling sweep where it continuously measure the SWR. Same with the Z value. We have a frequency generator. And apparently we have the ability to capture screens here. And then we have the setup menu. So let's dive into the setup menu and see. And in the setup menu, we have a calibration for all frequencies. We can... Uh, uh, decide on which bands we want the five band frequency mode to work on. We can choose language between English and German. And for me, English, I'm a lot better in English than I am German. The backlight menu, as you saw earlier, delta frequency, display update cycle, calibration, and then a reset. And those are the choices in the, in the setup menu here. So we're just, just going to go back here. But this is first and foremost an antenna analyzer. So let's see if we can measure something on it. And we're going to use my NFED half wave outside. That's cut for 20 meters using an eBay ballon. And the wire is not perfect because my previously wire just tore apart after a couple of years up. And uh, I've replaced it with a new wire, but I haven't tuned it properly. But nonetheless, we can check the uh, the status of that antenna. And before you comment down in the comment section, uh, just beware that this is done for demonstration purposes. If I was going to tune the antenna, I would put the VNA or the 
uh, analyzer at the antenna itself and not at the feed point and the shack, just so you know. Nonetheless, we're going to do that for demonstration purposes now. And here we have the single, um, the single frequency SWR measurements. And you see it's not half bad on 15 meters here. Uh, Let's just go down a couple of uh, kilohertz and see. It's not half bad on 15, but let's start on, let's see how we're going to put it. And you can see, you can cycle through which, uh, if, you're, if you're doing hertz, kilohertz, megahertz here. We'll just leave it here and we'll go down to 40 meters here. So, and it's not bad on 40 meters either. Let's see what, what other measurements we can do here though. We'll hold the menu button to get into the menu. We can check the Z values here or the Z values depending on which English speaking country you're from. So you get the value here. Uh, probably relevant for a lot of you for me in the field it's not that relevant um, but let's go back here and see what else we can do then we have the SWR single sweep you can see we sweep the antenna here we can see where it is plus and minus 100 kilohertz from where we are. So if I put it uh, at 7.1, we covered all of the region one uh, 40 meter band. It's not perfectly tuned as you can see, but it's perfectly usable. Let's uh, bump it up to, let's see the 20 meter band. Let's see, 14.2 plus minus 100 kilohertz. You can see for 20 meters, it's pretty much as good as it can get. Let's see what other measurements we can use though. Go back into the menu. Try the SWR 5 band setting, see what that, that does. This shows it the way it's set up now for 17, 15, 12, 20 and 10 meters. So, um, and uh, as you can see, a lot of these bands, the antenna is not supposed to be resonant at, at, and it's not perfect on, on 10 meters as well. I know that, and that's, well, I couldn't get it to tune more than three bands, actually. Um, so let's see what the other measurements we have once we're here. Then we have cycling sweeps and all of this. In addition to that, we have a frequency generator. Um, I haven't tried that. Uh, but um, I'll probably look at that in uh, another video. And that's pretty much it for this analyzer here. And it's not the cheapest analyzer you can get. If you get this new, uh, Nano VNA is cheaper. This, however, is a little bit more usable in the field. You have buttons to navigate around. You get a screen that shows whatever you need. And let's call it a poor man's rig expert. I guess you could call it that. I'm thinking this is going to be part of my field kit from now on and you'll see me use this more. It's not going to it's going not going to completely take the place of the nano VNA, uh not by far because this is only uh 0 to 100 megahertz. So it's not usable for 2 meters for 70 centimeters and above. But for HF field use parks in the air, some is on the air. This is a lot easier to carry around than the nano VNA. And that's it for now. If you like this video, uh, please consider subscribing, click that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, you know the drill. And um, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, uh, you can take a look at both YouTube memberships, Patreon, buy me a coffee, all those options down below. There are links down below to that. Hope you liked this video. Until next time, I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India, and you're watching LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures 7.3.